Um, today I want to make a different video, but I feel like if I have a YouTube channel, I have to share things with the people that is viewing my channel. So because of that, this is a video with 10 facts about me. Uh, the first fact that I want to have everything in here. The first fact that I want to comment is that my real name it's Luna. I know there is a lot of people sooner or later that they say to me, but your name is not Luna, isn't it? It's, it's more like a nickname and it's like, uh, no, it's my real name, it's my... As I said on an earlier video, I used to live in Mexico, I lived there, I made my last year of degree in there and specifically I went to live on Guadalajara. In there I met an amazing family and I was staying with them in her house, in their house and it was one of the best experiences of my life. I know it sounds like very silly and cheesy but it's true. Living in Mexico changed my life, my perspective and because of that I highly recommend to everyone that try to travel and discover the cities and discover new countries and new environments because trust me you have to be there. But my earliest memory is from I was two. I was two years old. I barely can speak at that time. And I remember speaking with my mother and saying to her that I wanted to read books, that I really wanted to learn how to read. But at that time it was impossible, of course, because I was really, really little and I still not even went to kindergarten. And she said to me that my teachers on kindergarten will explain to me how to read and I will learn I will, and I will be able finally to read all those books. And I remember this feeling and this thought like one day I will be able to read all those books. And on my mind it was possible that, that if I read enough I will be able to read all the books of all over the world. And as you can imagine, it's not true, but um, yeah, I was two, you know, when, when you're two years old, you, you believe a lot of things. I love reading books. I used to be an introvert kid, and because of that, books were my perfect world. Like, I could stay there for hours and hours and hours reading books, and I wouldn't ever be bored. Like, there is always a new story, there is always something new to tell, and for me, it was just an amazing world that put in myself and it was very comfortable and I could feel a lot of things that usually I don't feel so it was amazing and because of that <laughs> I started reading a lot since very early on my life and right now I'm reading between 53 to 56 books per year and I know it's a lot it's more than one book per week um, <laughs> This is my favorite book of all times and I need to read this because I, ne I know the name in Spanish but I have no idea how to pronounce it in English is uh, The Unbearable Lightness of Being by Milan Kundera This book is about love at the beginning I didn't want to read it because I felt like it was too posh uh, but actually it's not I know the title sounds very posh like oh yeah The Unbearable Lightness of Being but it's not, it's a book about love and I've always feel very connected with the characters and different moments of my life. I have written only two times these books, but every single time I found something different and I have, I, I can remember everything from this book because it's quite emotional and really, I don't know, deep you in some way or another and in my case the person well the character that I feel more connected with is Sabina and I know that she cheats every single person in her life but no it's not because of that it's because the way of thinking that she has and because she's a very powerful independent woman and I like that I love dark chocolate and coffee and I know that um, there's a lot of people who like this combination of taste but actually it tastes really good because I know dark chocolate is bitter and coffee is pretty much bitter but the combination of both is it's, it's just perfect I have learned how to speak English by myself and I want to say it loud and do it remarkable because I know that people have bigger, a big, big fear around 
the idea of learning a language or speaking different languages or trying to put themselves on environments that they don't know how to speak the language of that country or of that area. And for me, it has been, let's not say easy because it wasn't easy, but let's say that it was um, not such a difficult thing as you might imagine. I'm obsessed with with Christmas and this is happening only now that I'm an adult and I don't know very well why but <laughs> when I was a kid I wasn't so obsessed with Christmas for me it was a very good time but basically it was good because I didn't have to go to school and I could say staying home and watch a lot of cartoons and reading books and be with my family and play and there were always presents so it was nice but it wasn't Christmas environment would actually really catch my attention and um, passing the years I have developed a love for Christmas and um, for especially for the last three years I enjoy it a lot and if you are asking me if you are asking yourself this yes I have already bought Christmas presents and yes I have already bought my terrible Christmas jumper with a big animal with a red nose in yeah it, it's it's amazing it's, it's just I love it so much like <laughs> I cannot even explain it but it's true I love it I travel a lot and one thing that I have discovered is that everyone has this kind of misconceptions or preconceptions about different cities and what you're going to love and everyone has this kind of city goal that you want to go some moment in your life and for me that was Berlin I was quite obsessed with the idea of going to Berlin and it was one of the first cities that I've ever visited when I was 18 actually but after traveling so much I have fell in love with other cities more than with Berlin still Berlin, Liverpool and um, Boston are one of my favorite cities and they have some sort of similar architecture, similar environment, a lot of students, a lot of young people, a lot of cultural events, a lot of arts and music and yeah I still love all of that but so far my favorite city is Chicago. I cannot explain how magical is that city but I seriously love that city. It's one of my best trips and I made it by myself and I love it. It's all good memories. Uh, another fact about me is that I use glasses. I wear glasses. I don't like that people watch me with glasses, but I do. I don't need contacts. I only need my glasses for computer and for reading. But still, I feel pretty uncomfortable when someone that I don't know sees me with glasses. So I have that's it for the video for today I hope you enjoyed it uh, if you enjoyed it please let me know what what else do you want to know about me or just tell me what do you think if you have the same weirdness that I that I do have or if you are different what do you like what you don't like tell me something because it's really interesting to have this conversation with you we'll see you very very soon because uh, this Sunday yeah this Sunday is going to be another video on my channel and yeah see you on sunday and definitely next thursday at six as always uh, bye